finals from Los Angeles. 24 to 11, Denver leading with that two games to none series lead. Anthony Davis is the only thing going right now for LA. He knocks down a pair of free throws here, give him nine points. Subs have come in on both sides, Jeff Green and Christian Brown for Denver. LeBron James has returned for the Lakers. Yeah, that's why Garvin's got him back here to try and uh, settle this down. Murray drives right with the open screen, gets to the right side of the lane, steps past Schroeder, shoots and banks it high off the glass for two more. That's 13 for Murray. What a beautiful under control fake and finish by Jamal Murray. Is he the calmest man in the building? He's so totally under control. James, right side three, rips it. First bucket of the game for LeBron James. First one he's made in three games against the Denver Nuggets. He was 0 for 10 tonight. He also missed his last one against the Warriors, so he missed 11 in a row. Brown shot fake, drives to the lane, tied up, fouled here by Lonnie Walker, the fourth, in for his free throw tonight. Question is when we get to the fourth quarter, will James finally in a fourth quarter three, which has eluded him. In a uh, I think he'll be a lot of pressure. I think Darvin Ham will probably manage his minutes if the score allows him to. I think he's going to leave a little more in the tank for the fourth quarter. Timeout on the floor, still a double-digit lead here for the visitors from the Mile High City. 2.21 to go in the first. It is Denver 26, Los Angeles 15. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Get in AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? I think my battery's dead. With free battery testing and charging, AutoZone is here to help. What if I need more? We have the right batteries right here at America's number one battery destination. And what if I don't know how to connect it? No problem. We have a how-to for you at AutoZone.com. Restrictions apply. Finally, baseball is back. Swing into the season with tickets to the action. Plus, with basketball and hockey heating up, now is a great time to experience the game. Vivid Seats is proud to be the official ticketing partner of ESPN. From on the glass to in the stands, Vivid Seats has great ticket prices to all the games. Every crack of the bat, every dribble down the court. Catch it all with Vivid Seats. Download the app or visit VividSeats.com today. Vivid Seats. Experience it live. The NBA Finals. Hearts are racing, heads are pounding. No time to rest. No time to look away. Because in the finals, everything changes. Fate collides with destiny. Today's stars become tomorrow's inspirations. And four wins turn the end of the season into the start of a legacy. The NBA Finals begin June 1st on ABC. Angie's list is now Angie's, and we've heard a lot of theories about why. I thought it was an eco move. Your word? Wet paper. Oh, it was so you could say it faster. No way. It's to be more iconic. Must be a tech thing. But those aren't quite right. It's because now you can compare up some prices, book a service instantly, and even get your project handled from start to finish. Sounds easy. It is, and it makes sense so much more than just a list. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. Twitter account at NBA on ESPN Radio to vote in the AutoZone in the zone. Full question, who's going to get in the zone for this tonight, Game 3 in the Western Conference Finals? Nicole Jokic, Jamal Murray, Anthony Davis, and Roland James in the zone brought to make AutoZone. It's time to say good night to that check-in to light the free AutoZone fix finder service. It'll help troubleshoot the light because if you like the free restrictions to fly, get in the zone. AutoZone. Denver's in the zone. They're in the midst of a 19-5 run. They lead by 12. Back to Los Angeles with George Donato and DJ Calissimo. Here's Sean Kelly. Kevin Winter, thank you very much. And DJ, if, if the Lakers don't make some kind of a run here soon, they're going to start handing out paper bags. There are fans kind of on the brink of hyperventilating a little bit here with a 26-14 to 14 start in favor of Denver at the moment. Yeah, they're just not shooting the ball well. With 5 for 19 from the field, that's 26%. 1 for 5 from downtown, and they have the only two turnovers in the game. So it certainly hasn't been a good start. And by the way, Mr. Triple Double, Nikola Jokic, has yet to score. He does have two, points, two assists. 
and two rebounds. So Denver's doing this basically without him. So that's kind of a scary proposition for the Lakers. Yeah, that's kind of the way I was thinking as soon as you talked about that. I'm like, I don't think that's a good thing if you're thinking purple and gold right now. So Bruce Brown knocks down both of his free throws coming out of the timeout. So now 28-14 to 14 with 2.12 to go in the first. James on the bounce here, sideline right. Works for the break, gets below it, just back to the goal. First green into the color, turn around, jumper. Knocks down by LeBron James in the center of the lane. Jeff Green plays LeBron about as well as anybody on the Denver roster, but even he's outmatched in terms of size and strength. The other players, when they've tried to defend LeBron, it's taken a lot less time for him to get right to the rim. LeBron, 38 years old, Green, 36. Murray, in the paint on the left side, turnaround jumper mid-post. He's got 15 now in the game. Then shoot is just too small to play him. Ronnie Walker drives to the rim. Reverse layup won't go. He's trying to go right to left, spinning off the finish. Murray brings it up the left wing. Davis will get in front of him. Launches at three. Missed it short from the left side. Boy, they're lucky because AD basically just allowed Jamal Murray to shoot that yeah. three. James spins baseline right. Gets under the goal. Boot rises. Foul. Oh, contact as he came from under the rim. And Arch is back to try and get a decent look. LeBron James, fouled by Christian Brown, will go to the line. He was so good at getting to the free throw line, and they're usually very, very good themselves at not committing fouls. So that's a tremendous dynamic that they have working virtually every game. They get a lot more free throws than their opponents, and they don't foul very much when they play defense. It's a, it's a great combination that Darvin Ham has his team working on. Remember a short time ago, P.J., we talked about LeBron James finally hitting a three in this series? Guess what? They changed it to a two, so he's yet to hit one. First free throw is good, so five points now for LeBron James. I don't know if Lawrence Taylor made a, an announcement on that, but I wouldn't tell LeBron if, if I were anybody to put it in with the, uh, the Lakers. Let him think he made a three. And missed the second free throw. It's 30-17 to 17 Denver with the ball. Here's the roll toward the one-minute remaining mark in the quarter. Brown picks it up between the rings, pitches the green the left hand court. Murray in a double, still calls for it. He's one-on-one -on -one with Schroeder now. Left foul not extended. Swings it through the wickets. He was trying to bounce it into green, and it sails out of bounds baseline right. Turnover Nuggets. Yeah, they, they wanted to post up Murray on Schroeder, and he had to come out to get the ball on that long bounce pass. He threw, never got above knee height. There was no way that Jeff Green could get down and uh, come up with that pass. We were talking to Michael Malone before the game. Turnovers was the topic. That's the first turnover of the game for the Nuggets. And they've done a really good job in this quarter. Three posts to LeBron, blocked right. Help defender Cunning. Turns for his wing left. Walker for three. Good off the catch. Lonnie Walker and LeBron James make him pay. We talked about how important it was for the so-called supporting cast to be there. They have not been there yet. The Lakers totally need that. Murray reaches down and gets his two while keeping a dribble along the front quarter left. 18 seconds remaining in the period of seven to shoot. Murray puts his head down, right, pushes off, spins to seven left, ripped it from the elbow. 17 first quarter points for Jamal Murray. That's a quick match for me. I think that's 40 points in the last two quarters against the Lakers. And they're very good. Six seconds left, shot clock dark. James straight away for three. Back iron, no. Rebound, popcorns to Brown, and that secured rebound for Denver takes us to the end of the first quarter. 32 on the board for the team already leading two games to none. 17 in the quarter for Murray. At the end of the first, it's Denver 32, Los Angeles 20. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app, presented by Indy. One in four car batteries is weak and needs to be replaced. O'Reilly Auto Parts will test your battery for free. If your battery needs to be replaced, our professional parts people can help you find the best superstar battery for your vehicle and budget. Don't wait. Get your battery tested for free today at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Two guys drove to work. Neither guy wore a seatbelt. One guy got a ticket. One guy didn't. The same two guys.
guys drove home. One guy wore a seatbelt. One guy didn't. One guy made it home. The guy not wearing a seatbelt didn't. Don't risk it. Click it or tick it. Paid for by Nusa. What a new woman, huh? Monique's daycare is crawling with new arrivals. Hey, sweetie, are you hungry? She needs more early childhood educators. Did the socks rip off again? And the nap. Hey, they are a little guy. Okay. Oh. Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. We instantly connect you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 for your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Broken bricks, falling fences, damaged doors, Gorilla Glue. <laughs> of course. It's incredibly strong and 100% waterproof and bonds, well, virtually everything. While you're at it, look for Gorilla Tape, a heavy-duty double-thick duct tape, and Gorilla Super Glue, great for all your quick fixes and repairs. There's also Gorilla Epoxy, Gorilla Wood Glue, Gorilla Construction Adhesive. Of course. You get it. If you can break it, Gorilla can fix it. <laughs> for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. I said, Denver needs to take the first punch. Uh, it was L.A. that needs to take the first punch, and it was a heck of a punch. Uh, Denver can't play much better than they played. Sean, if I told you before the game, Nikola Jokic would not score in the first quarter, have only two assists and two rebounds, you would not think the Denver Nuggets will be plus 12. Yeah, plus 12 has us at 32 to 20 as we start the second quarter. George Sedano will be with us here in just a moment. Lakers ball to start the second, shooting at the end to our left. Austin Reeves on the dribble here for the right sideline. He's Davis at the foul line with Downhill and lays it up and in. Sneaky pass Davis, good by Jokic. And Anthony Davis has double figures now with 11 points. They we're actually looking to post up LeBron along the baseline, and when he fumbled the ball, he just decided to drive and got a layup out of it. Anthony Davis. In the left corner to Green, pump fake, drives on Anthony, turns, pushes it off the glass, and then he got his shoulders square in front of the rim and scored on the shot blocker. Jeff Green with a really good decision, passed up the three and took it to the rim. Reeves holding here at the hash on the right sideline. Lobs it softly to James, had it back to Reeves, cutting the rim. Layup is good. Great give and go with Reeves and James. Uh, they like to play together, which means LeBron empowers him. Uh, Austin Reeves missed his first two shots. They were both three. Good idea to get a layup. Ten-point game. Green catches Pernilla. Fires for three. Rimmed off. No good. Cleared by Austin Reeves. I'll bring up the center of the floor. Reeves peels off wing left. Browns on him defensively. Contact in the lane. Offensive foul called against Anthony Davis. I think Davis is really upset. I mean, he appeared he just knocked him out of the way. Uh, Billy Kennedy with the call. Jeff Green with a heady defensive play. Just denied the end. I'm just watching the replay. No question about that call. Good call by Bill Kennedy. I, I know AD's upset, but uh, JG just took away his path to the basket. Well, Jokic will pause here at the top of the arc. Pitch of the quarter on his right. Feed Jokic now, position with close right to the lane. Working downhill toward the block, here comes the double, shovel it out to Porter, swing it to Bruce Brown. Brown runner by Davis. Brown drives on Davis, scoops off the glass, no good. Davis maybe have changed his shot, and AD clears it for LA. Brown gives to Davis, and he sends a wing left to Reeves. Reeves turns in the paint, broken line, pump fake, shoots, found by Michael Porter, free throws coming. And with that, we welcome back in George Sedano courtside. George? 
Sean, I spent a couple of seconds in each huddle in that last time out, and the Lakers huddle very quiet before Darvin Ham arrived. There hasn't been a lot of communication on the bench. Meanwhile, Denver's the complete opposite. Whether it's Bruce Brown, whether it's Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Jamal Murray, everybody is chatting in those huddles. And then Michael Malone's message was defend, rebound, and run. They want to push the pace on their end. George, thank you. And there have been more productive possessions now in the second quarter for the Lakers. Two more points here at the line for Reeves, and it's 34-26. And an attack on the dribble, Austin Reeves done a good job twice going to the basket. AD on the first possession did the same thing. Two minutes gone in the period. Porter launches an angle all three. Rim glass no. Another rebound for Anthony Davis, his seventh of the game. That's the Porter having a little trouble getting on track here. Porter's one for four, all of them from downtown. Walker, pull-up jumper over left, off the rim twice, no good, but he is fouled. And here are the Lakers, who, lest we remind everyone, led everybody on the planet in free throw attempts during the regular season. These will be attempts 9 and 10 in the first half for L.A. now as Walker's at the line. Yeah, and Michael Malone's got to be upset because it's been the mantra for them uh, since this series started. The guys, we've got to defend without fouling. They haven't really been able to do that, nor has anybody all year, basically, against the Lakers. L.A. 7 of 9 now at the line. One more coming for Lonnie Walker. That's helped to keep them in the ballpark here, despite shooting 9 of 25 from the field. And once down 12, L.A.'s cut it in half, 34 to 28. Bruce Brown lobs to Jokic. Jokic still looking for his first bucket. In the paint, turn, throws corner left to green. Touch pass to Porter, in traffic, gets into the color, finds Bruce Brown weak side, and he bunny hops up to the rim to score. Michael Porter did not usually do that. He put it on the floor, came to a jump stop, and made a nice, simple little bounce pass. Porter's got three dimes now. As LeBron has pushed. The double came right side of the lane, and LeBron took one right in the beard. That might be a Jokic. That's yeah. a big call. It's two on Jokic. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, the first one I thought was a good call, and when AD went to the basket, that one was... Wasn't a real lot there to put the uh, second foul on Jokic. Inbound finds James straight away for three. Front iron no good. Rebound to go by L.A. Shovel it back to James. Sends it wing right. Reeves crossover dribble. Crossover again. Got to the rack and scores off balance. What a move by Reeves. Timeout and Michael Malone is in a heated exchange with Scott Foster to Gucci. If you want to set about Jokic's second foul, I presume. Yeah, exactly. He wants to know why they're not getting those kind of calls on this basket down here. Scott Foster, of course, one of the best officials in the league. Going back, it's a very animated two-way conversation. Indeed. Nine minutes remaining in the first half. L.A. is climbing back into this thing. Down 12 at the start of the quarter. Here, trail by six. Denver 36, Los Angeles 30. You're listening to the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Do you want to gain stability, benefits, and experience? As a youth development specialist with the City of New York, you can build a solid civil service career working with NYC youth. Start earning over $47,000, and in three months, you could get a $2,500 bonus. Earn a pension, paid overtime, health care, and in just five years, over $60,000. Apply now at nyc.gov slash YDS. Make a difference in the lives of our youth. Become a youth development specialist today. Learn more at nyc.gov slash YDS. 40 days up to 40 pounds. Say it with me, 40 days up to 40 pounds. With the warmer days of spring approaching, you need to get rid of that oversized sweatshirt and reach out to NJ Diet. You will lose a contractually guaranteed 20 to 40 plus pounds in only 40 days. They use your hair, saliva, and blood work along with bioenergetic scans to personalize natural solutions and supplements that get your body into the fat burning zone so you can finally lose that weight. Then, NJ Diet uses DNA Info to help you keep it off. You will be slimmer before for this summer with the help of NJ Diet. And best of all, it's contractually guaranteed. You are fully supervised the entire time to make sure you're burning fat and not just losing water. And you even get the doctor's personal email and phone number. Locations throughout New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, or available worldwide with live online video consults. 
Call 855-5-NJ-DIET or schedule your consultation today by going to njdiet.com. That's njdiet.com. 40 days up to 40 pounds. 40 days up to 40 pounds. If new Heineken Silver was at the invasion of Troy. Oh, my. The Greeks sent up the big wooden horse. Oh, no! It's full of armed and angry soldiers! And we only have these ice-cold Heineken Silvers to defend ourselves. Forget plundering. Let's party! Ah. Get all the taste. No bitter and Crisp and refreshing Heineken Silver. Only 3.2 grams of carbs, 95 calories. Order now at Heineken.com slash silver. Must be 21 and older to purchase. Enjoy Heineken responsibly. Kevin Rich with you inside our Granger studio. Not unfamiliar territory for LeBron James. You know, until the thing beats you uh, four times, then you always have an opportunity to come out of it. You know, so that, that's the confidence that we should have. It's a tough hill to climb up, but we should have an opportunity to, uh, you know, play good basketball. And LeBron James, uh, in an 0-2 hole for the third time in his career. Did you know about you by Geico when you rent your own? Geico makes it easy to bundle your home and car insurance. Go to geico.com today. LeBron James trailed 0-2 in the 17, in the 0 Seven conference finals against Detroit in the 2016 conference uh, NBA finals against Golden State in the 2018 conference finals against Boston, and he won all three of those. Sean Kelly, back to you. All right, Kevin, thank you very much. Uh, look, Jamal Murray, 17 points in the first quarter. Big story. Equally as big maybe right now for Denver is the fact that Nikola Jokic is zero points so far here in the first half. No, they got to get him involved right now. Murray back into the game, but I, I would think Nicola himself will get a little more aggressive. He has more fouls than points right now. 8.48 to go. Murray wing left. Well, there you go. Three ball down. Give him 20, <laughs> and that makes it 39 to 30. DJ, he's 9 for 11 coming off the fourth quarter he had in game two. Looks like a zone. I want to see somebody cut through to find out. Hachimura spins, shoots, block right, missing. Got his own rebound. Back up and in. He's bigger than you think he is. Oh, no, yeah. His size yeah. has been a problem for them, Sean. Uh, he's shooting over people, and he's doing a good job on the glass. First bucket for Hachimura. Jokic drives down the lane and lays it in. His first bucket coming at 8.13 to go in the first half. It's usually the passer on those cuts. Hachimura, pump fake from three, left to the top, drives to the rim and finishes, changing hands, makes life left to right. Hachimura goes back to back, it's 41-34. Aaron Gordon is a better defender than that. Rui goes to his right and went right by him like he wasn't even there. 7.48 to go in the second quarter. Murray, shirt tail on tuck, catches it to Jokic, top of the arc. Jokic for three straight away. Got it, and here he comes. Jokic now has hit back-to-back -back shots. The oh, lead back to 10. Guy that big has such a soft touch. Excellent passer. There's nothing he can't do with the ball. He's four for seven now from three in this series. And now these teams are answering back and forth as Davis finishes at the cup. Uh, Lonnie Walker and Rui. Lonnie and Rui Hachimura now uh, have joined the fray with LeBron and AD. Three ball by Walker. Give him eight off the bench. Jokic comes down the lane. Bumps into Davis. Bump, bump. Bumps again. Gets under the cup. Here comes the help. Turns right hook. No good. Michael Malone's really upset. He thought he was fouled more than once. Didn't get the call. Scott Foster was the baseline official. Lob the rim. Alley oop. Dump thrown down by Davis on the right hand. Assisted by LeBron James has six dimes now for the King. Easily the most noise the crowd's made today. Long three, Murray shouts back at Los Angeles from up top. They have quite the same reaction to Jamal Murray's three as they did for A.D.'s dunk. 23 now for Murray. LeBron drives down the lane and lays it in with ease. Yeah, Nicola just got out of his way. I don't know who the primary defender was, but he went right by him, and Jokic didn't even attempt to contest the shot. Murray skids, keeps the dribble alive, elbow right, retreats behind the three-point line. Jokic wrestling with Hachimura. Comes out and sets the screen. Murray draws LeBron. Murray drives baseline right, blocking foul on LeBron James. See, LeBron got super aggressive, said, I'm taking him, I'm going to get after him. But Jamal Murray just drove it on him, and Scott Foster made the call. LeBron's not happy. LeBron's got to be careful. 
guarding Murray. They, yeah, they got to shut Murray down, but they cannot afford foul trouble for LeBron James. He's got two already. Hachimura on the switch out. Balls him. Nice pass to Jokic. Drops underneath. Gordon out of the dunker spot. Rises at the rim, and he's fouled trying to shoot two. What a beautiful high-low bounce pass by Nikola Jokic. He hardly had the ball in his hand, Sean, and immediately just passed it along to Aaron Gordon underneath the rim. Wasn't it fun watching him slip? Because when they switched on the perimeter, Hachimura and James, Jokic just a little slip to give space to catch, yeah. and then offer. Such a smart player. He and Jamal Murray have such a good on-the-floor relationship. They see each other so well. First free throw, no good for Aaron Gordon. 47-41. Denver's led by as many as 14 if you're just joining us. 12 at the start of the quarter. Lakers cut it to 6. Denver drew their lead back to 10. And Gordon hits the second free throw here to make it a 7-point affair. 48-41. Really important for Denver to make their free throws because there's going to be a discrepancy. L.A. will shoot a lot more free throws. So when Denver does get to the line, they need to take advantage. James up high, trying to bounce it into a screening Hachimura, stolen by Bruce Brown. Brown kicks it to Murray, corner left. Davis goes to meet him in the far corner. Murray walks the dribble above the left side break, turns, shoots for three. Yo, 26 for Jamal Murray. With Anthony Davis in his face, Murray knocks it down to make it 51-41. Darvin Ham's seen enough of that. I know he talked to the team about paying special attention to Jamal Murray. In fairness to his team, He's making some deep shots, Sean. Unbelievable. Timeout Los Angeles will step aside. 5.27 to go first half here in Los Angeles. Denver up by 10. 51-41 over the Los Angeles Lakers. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by ND. Get in zone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Ah, thinking about gas mileage. You know, changing your oil with a full synthetic oil like Valvoline Advance can help your engine get more miles. Right now, buy a five-quart jug and get a free STP extended life oil filter. That's right, free. Get started on your next job today with the parts you need, when you need them, at AutoZone or AutoZone.com. Get zone, AutoZone. Restrictions apply. Will they find a home? Sponsored by Geico. Susan has always wanted to live in a chateau. I like a certain je ne sais quoi. While Jake is more into the Cape Cod style home. It's a classic look. Compromise is tough, but these two won't have to compromise when they bundle home and car insurance with Geico. It's easy, and they could save even more. In the end, Susan and Jake found a Cape Cod style home where they will only speak French. Bonjour, je t'aime, uh, merci beaucoup, and uh, cordon bleu. You'll get better with time. Bundling without compromise at Geico.com. You hearing this? It sounds like yeah, it's is playoff basketball. Time to tap into playoff mode. Stay nonstop. Quiet way to the top. Give it all you got type of thing. From inside the paint to outside the arena. Where did this come from? Everybody's got to get in playoff mode and stay in playoff mode. Every single round. The NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel continue on ABC, ESPN, and TNT. Remember college, early morning classes, all-night study sessions, and somewhere in there, maybe even a social life. Five-hour energy got you thrilled. Now, you've got responsibilities, work, bills, a family. Five-hour energy is still here with the same alert, energized feeling you relied on back then. Every day, five-hour energy helps millions just like you be at their best when it really matters. Rediscover five-hour energy. We'll get you through again. For more information, visit fivehourenergy.com. Coming up on the AutoZone Halftime Report, we're going to look at game number three in the East tomorrow night. How much trouble is Boston in? How much blame for the 0-2 hole should go to Joe Missoula? ESPN's Michael Wilbon will hear from him. We go inside the numbers in our game three, brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Sean, PJ, and George, I think my math is correct. In the last 27 minutes of basketball for Jamal Murray, 49 points, 17 of 20 for the floor, and 8 of 10 from deep. My goodness, back to you. Yeah, your numbers are right. Let me layer on to that, Kevin, if you don't mind. From the start of the fourth quarter in game two till now, that's 83 points scored by the Denver Nuggets. 
He's got 49 of the 83 points scored. He's on fire. There's no question about that. The good news, though, for the Lakers, they're also scoring. We still have almost five and a half to go in the second quarter, and it's 21-19 this quarter already. So teams kind of trading baskets. 51-41, 5-17 to go in the first half. Good news for the Lakers. Their winning bench, 12-6. Their winning second chance, 8-0. LeBron trying to work to the right low post. Pump, bump against the Murray. Says out of the double to Reed. Swing right three. Line drive. Off the rim and it rolled over and in. Talk about a home bounce for Reeves. Benny Schroeder is face guarding Jamal Murray all over the court. He picked him up on the inbounds pass. He's into him now. Jamal has the ball near the logo. Goes off that logo. Left side for KCP. The lob of the yoke is just below the, low, below the left foul line extended. And it's a Murray. Schroeder stays with him, fighting over the screen. Murray in the lane. Scooper, no good. Off back rim, rebounded by LeBron James. James up the right side. No look, pass in the right corner. Reese, pump fake from three. Crossover drives, lost the handle. Poked out of bounds. Off the handle, it looks like of Jokic last. Lakers ball, baseline right. Austin Reeves this quarter looks like the Austin Reeves in the first two games. Playing with so much confidence, making his threes, but really doing a good job with his dribble penetration. He's sitting on nine points. He's the second leading scorer right now for L.A. Schroeder sends it into Reeves, pull the right, guarded by KCP. 14 to shoot. Up top to Hachimura for three. Off the iron, the glass, and into the hands of Aaron Gordon. Three-point line is not been good for the late four of 11. Gordon catches top of the arc, looks to his right. Murray cuts, goes back door, catches, got by Schroeder, and lays it in. Got a step on Schroeder. Well, Schroeder's trying to deny him the ball, so he needs help. If Jamal Murray goes back door, his teammates got to help. It's a turnover. Schroeder on the drive and kick. Sent it over the half-court stripe, went all the way down to the other end. LeBron James kicked it out of bounds on the baseline, hoping that they could get a baseline inbound for Denver. And Scott Foster says, no, 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 no. The big rule here, a kick violation, full shot clock, Denver ball sideline left, not baseline left. Yeah, as they, uh, these guys explaining why they're inbounding where they are. And they just let it go out of bounds, it would have been at half court. Correct. Jason Pete goes into Jokic, bounces at the top of the arc, hands it to Aaron Gordon. Murray calls the ball. They're doubling him at the moment. Gordon instead goes to Jokic, top of the arc. No look pass to her left. Three ball on the way. Bruce Brown. Left it short. Yeah, Bruce Brown's been in and out with his three-point shot. James goes wing right. Reeves. Drives around Bruce Brown. Pumps take it to broken line. Spin 360. Shoots. Missed it off the iron. But he got hit in the hip. He should go to the line to shoot a pair of free throws at 332 left in the first half. Well, that's a tough call right there. I thought Bruce Brown did a pretty good job maintaining his position. Watching the replay here. Third foul on Bruce Brown. George Sedano, courtside. George, Sean in that last huddle with the Lakers. Darvin Ham looked right at Dennis Schroeder and said, get on his behind. And he didn't use the word behind. He was talking about Jamal Murray. And as you saw and Coach mentioned, Schroeder has been all up in Murray to begin this quarter. Or, excuse me, this particular set of plays. Yeah, George, thank you. And, and PJ, you were calling game one and two with Mark Kestisher. Wasn't Schroeder having trouble with deciding whether he was going to go over or under screens and it caused some problems? Yeah, he was. And, and they just weren't on the same page with their defense. Right now, Dennis Schroeder, who is a good defender, he's really getting into Jamal Murray. Denver can't get too caught up in that. I mean, they want to keep Jamal Murray going. He just missed another runner uh, right there. So the points don't have to come just from Jamal Murray. 53-46. Posting up Davis, catches block left, turns right hook over Gordon, knocks it down, 15 for Anthony Davis. He's also a rebound shy of another double-double. Five-point game, three minutes to go in the half. The sneaky push here by L.A. in front of their home crowd. Jokic takes the ball here just above the left elbow, guarded by Hachimura. Jokic holding at his waistband, facing the rim, shoots from 16. Nope. Rebounded by L.A. This is going to get interesting. Reeves lobs underneath. Hachimura interfered with trying to finish at the rim. No call. Loose ball. Murray ahead. Murray in the paint. Shoots in the contact. Knocks it down. And 
fist pump to the official. They did not whistle him for a tech. And now the long outlet pass for James. He's run off the ball and he goes out of bounds. Lakers turn it right back over. This officiating crew is getting lit up by the crowd. Scott Foster's whistle fell. He did not have a whistle in his mouth. I don't think it was a foul anyhow. I thought it was a good defensive play. 2.15 to go in the half. Hand off to Murray. Square shoots the three up top. Too strong. Big rebound by Hachimura. Outlet pass ahead. On time on target to lead. Layup good. Lakers have cut it to five again. Push it to Gordon. Pull up jumper, baseline right. Nope, missed a nine footer, and it's rebounded by Davis. His tenth. He's got a double double in the half. Schroeder drops it for James. Tees up a left side three. Too strong. Long rebound caught by Murray at the foul line. Outlet pass to Porter. Porter hesitated and now needs some friends. Bad pass to Gordon, almost stolen by James. And with 12 to shoot, Gordon peels out. Sideline left. Unsure of things here. Crossover dribble. Gordon still has possession. Out to Murray. Deep left front court three. Rim twice, but no good. Terrible. Got it gone. Yeah. Terrible possession, though. They just dribbled the ball. It's become very stagnant, Denver. Schroeder drives to the rim from the right baseline. Reverse layup. No. Foul on the play. A loud crowd and no audible sound from Scott Foster, who stops playing, calls a blocking foul at 1.16 to go in the half. He's having trouble with his whistle. Calls for a towel. And you know he's got a, a spare or two in his pocket. You know, he's, he's gotten to the second one, maybe the third. I, I, wonder, I wonder if Foster got hit in the mouth. Yeah, he's bleeding yeah, blood. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he could blow the whistle. Yep. Oh, there's a stoppage right now. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a blood stoppage for an official. You see them all the time for players. I'll tell you what, this favors Denver because Denver's become really stagnant. I think they've obsessed a little bit with getting the ball to Jamal Murray. And if they're standing around, and I think it's hurt their offensive flow. They're, they still do have a five-point lead, but uh, we got free throws coming, I believe. Yes. They call that in the act of shooting? They did. Blocking foul will put L.A. at the line. They'll attempt free throws 13 and 14. The Lakers training staff is attending to Scott Foster with a bloody mouth. You have to wonder, you know, guy, guys during the position have the whistle most of the time in their mouth, and so if he got hit, ball, hand, whatever, he's glad he didn't lose a chicklet or anything on this play. Chris J. attacking the wrist. coach just uh, slapped him a high five. So the stoppage in play here to get Scott Foster right, the crew chief. The foul is on Jamal Murray. It is his first. Full conference finals coverage with Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. Weekday mornings from 6 to 10 a.m. Eastern, followed by Greeny with Mike Greenberg until noon on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. It's like he cut above his lip. It's gonna, he's going to feel it the rest of the game, but uh, Scott Foster's left, certainly wrapped it up games. And Ron James over to check on Foster now. And at the line to our left, Dennis Schroeder. Ten points and a half already the line for L.A. But Schroeder misses Boy. here, and they've missed three. And Schroeder's a very good free throw shooter. How good? 85% this postseason. Oh, Murray, by the way, with 30 points and a half. Jokic, five. Davis and Reeves have combined for 28 on the L.A. side. And with one more free throw made there, it's now a four-point game. As close as the Lakers have been since the opening minutes. Murray guarded by Schroeder between the circles. Dumps it off to Gordon, holding just left at the top of the arc. Hand to the Jokic. Will show and then put it down on the floor. The foul line. The broken line. Stern shoots a fader. 14-footer. Short. Rebounded by LeBron James. He'll bring it up the center himself. Under a minute to play. James on a free frame. The rack lays it in with the right hand. Nine for LeBron James. Two-point ball game. That 14-point Denver lead pretty much gone. Uh, Los Angeles picked a good time to do this. They've done a very good job finishing the half. Gordon, wide open three, left side. No good. Loose ball. Foul against Jokic. It's his third. He was under the rim and tangling with Hachimura and Reeves. 
And Jokic picks up his third foul with 33.1 seconds left in the first half. Last five minutes has not been a good time for the Denver Nuggets. I, I thought they became too one-dimensional. They wanted to get Jamal Murray the ball. Yes, he's having a great half, but it, it just stood around an awful lot. And worse, they're not defending very well on the other end. Had four lead changes in the half. The last time the Lakers led, it was 9-7. A chance to tie here. Bonus free throws for Reeves. He's an 87% free throw shooter when he knocks down the first. And so Austin Reeves, who's averaging 22.5 points per game in the series, is now sitting on 14 points. He's 5-5 five of five at the free throw line. The Lakers are going to get the last shot. I don't think Denver can get it up quick enough for a two-for-one. Only 33 seconds to go. So uh, you're going to see a Denver possession followed by a Laker possession. Lakers could be leading going into the locker room. Second free throw is good. We're all new. 55-55. Full court pressure by the Lakers. KCP comes to get it and refeeds Nikola Jokic. Jokic will bring it across. Try to get to Murray, and he got shoved in the back. Foul here on Schroeder. Only the second or third. I don't know whether it's their third. But Foul to give, yeah. Not shooting, but again, they don't want to commit another foul right here. They want to be able to make sure they get the ball in the last possession. Schroeder all over Jamal Murray trying to deny him the ball. No gets holding here. Left to the top of the arc. Handed off to Murray. Murray drives to his left. Works to the baseline. Gets under the rim. Flips the pass to KCP. Relay three. Got it. And rattled home with 10.7 to go. Good decision by Jamal Murray. Didn't force it. Found the open teammate. Lakers down three. Reeves on the bounce. Top of the arc. Tried to hit a diving. James fumbled loose. Turned it over. Murray running three. Top of the arc of the horn. Almost banked it in. Jamal Murray almost had himself 33 points in the half. Nonetheless, he's got 30 here as we hit the break. Not enough balance scoring for the Denver Nuggets. Lakers back in it. They should be very happy to only trail by three. No doubt. They were down 12 at the start of the second quarter. Three-point ball game as both teams head for the locker room. Seven three-pointers, the seventh of which is the difference right now for the Denver Nuggets. There was a 7-3 run, though, right down the stretch, favoring the Lakers to make this a one-possession game. And the first half, Denver 58, Los Angeles 55. Let's send it to Kevin Winter now in the studio with the AutoZone Halftime Report. Sean, PJ, and George, the free AutoZone Fix Finder service can help troubleshoot the likely cause of your pesky check engine light for free, and it can get you back on the road. Restrictions apply. Get in the zone. AutoZone, what looked like a runaway for the Denver Nuggets tonight. We all should not have been fooled. It's the NBA. Everyone makes a comeback, and L.A. did so with a 35-point second quarter that really offset the incredible first half by Jamal Murray. He drops 30, but the Nuggets only lead by straight 58-55 as they try for a three-game to none series lead. Coming up next on the AutoZone Halftime Report, we'll look ahead to Game 3 in the East tomorrow night, which means looking back to Game 2. How much is Boston's 0-2 hole dropping both at home on the shoulders, Joe Mazzulla. Get that answer next. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio, ESPN Next. At Navy Federal Credit Union, our members are at the very heart of our mission. That's why this Military Appreciation Month, we thought you might want to hear a special thank you message from your friends and family. I want to give a shout out to my brother, Will, who is currently serving as a major in the Army. Happy Military Appreciation Month. Hi, I'm wishing my pops, retired Colonel Stephen Sheehan of the United States Marine Corps, a happy Military Appreciation Month. And from all of us here, happy Military Appreciation Month. Commitment connects us. Navy Federal Credit Union, our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. Progressive Insurance protects people's cars, homes, and other vehicles. But if you've ever seen our commercials or even just heard our name, you probably already knew that. What you may not know is that we support Humble Design, a nonprofit that furnishes homes for families and veterans emerging from homelessness. Because a little help goes a long way. And a lot of help. Well, you get the idea. Now, if you already knew all of this about Progressive Insurance, we're impressed. We'll have to find something else cool to tell you next time. Find out more about how we're dedicated to our customers and communities at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. 
Angie's list is now Angie, and we've heard a lot of theories about why. I thought it was an eco move. Your word? Less paper. No, it was so you could say it faster. No, it's to be more iconic. Must be a tech thing. But those aren't quite right. It's because now you can compare upfront prices, book a service instantly, and even get your project handled from start to finish. Sounds easy. It is, and it makes us so much more than just a list. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. Does your vehicle have over 75,000 miles? Get maximum high mileage engine protection with new Syntec full synthetic high mileage motor oil exclusively at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Right now, get five quarts of Syntec high mileage and a MicroGuard Select oil filter for just $34.99. Limit supply. Ask for Syntec high mileage at O'Reilly Auto Parts. ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Jokic for free turn of mud. Got it. Here he comes. Jokic now has hit back to back shots. The lead back to 10. Guy that big has such a soft touch. Excellent passer. There's nothing he can't do. N- not the best first half for Nicole Jokic. Shivering the goal is on half from the board, which is brought to you by the Matrix of Five Hour Energy. For more information, visit 5 hourenergycom Five points for three fouls from Nikola Jokic. The Nuggets with a three-point lead over the Los Angeles Lakers here in game three. Butler with the ball at the top of the key. Working on Williams. Crossover dribble to his right hand. Drive right baseline. Falling away. Again, Butler nails it. 102-100 Miami. Jimmy Butler getting to his spots. Boston, that was turnover number 14. They've given up 18 off of it. They passed Doris Burke last night in the Eastern Conference Finals. Game 2, Miami goes into Boston. They take them both earlier tonight on NBA Countdown. I asked the ESPN NBA analyst Michael Wilbon how much of the blame should go to Joe Missoula for Boston being in an 0-2 hole. A lot. Because of not double teaming Jimmy at all, and again, you could go to you could burn that. I mean, you know, Jimmy Butler is a unselfish player mm-hmm. and a willing passer, if not the most creative playmaker in the world, a very willing passer. So you could you could go to that, get burned, and get out of it. But you got to try it. And his own player needing to convince him to go big. I, you know, I'm not a small ball guy. I'm not a fan of that. Right. I mean, because Golden State made it work to their advantage. People also forget that Golden State at some point had, like, Andrew Bogut and had, you know, had some size in it. They weren't just, you know, totally devoid of size. You know, last year's championship team was built on that. But I'm just not a fan of small ball when you've got alternatives. You mean to tell me you got Rob Williams and you don't have him in the game? What is the, what, what is the point of that? I don't, I don't understand that. And I've been... Trying to ask other coaches I know in the business about just that and some other stuff. He just he's a stubborn guy, and that can work for you. <laughs> but when it works against you, it seems to work spectacularly against you, particularly your own team seems to have a feeling of, hey, if, if we, if we go back to this? <laughs> Does this work? You know, great coaches also take a cue from their players. Fair. Um, and, and they take a cue from their great players. And, I, you know, I, there's something I've always found appealing about Marcus Smart in that way. Is he the greatest player? No. But is he somebody that seems to have his, you know, finger on the pulse of the team and the situation? Yeah. And so I, I, I'm looking, I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. Um, if he's going to be this hard-headed again, and if so, what's going to be the result? And it's Michael Wilbon on NBA Countdown. We're going to have Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Miami now back home, leading the series two games tonight. The conference starts 8 p.m. Eastern time. Up next here on the AutoZone Half the Report. Highlights of the first half of how Denver raced out to a big lead, a big half from Jamal Murray. The advantage is only three. You're listening to the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio the ESPN app. Do you want to gain stability, benefits, and experience? As a youth development specialist with the City of New York, you can build a solid civil service career working with New York City's youth. Start earning over $47,000 in three months. You can get a $2,500 bonus, earn a pension, paid overtime, health care, and in just five years, over $60,000. Apply now at nyc.gov slash YDS. Make a difference in the lives of our youth. Become a youth development specialist today. Learn more at nyc.gov slash YDS. Hi, I'm attorney John D'Agostino. 
If you've been injured, you need a lawyer who knows what you're going through. I understand how one accident can turn your whole world upside down. I've been there. I'm a local guy. I grew up on these streets and worked all through law school. After school, I built my practice one client at a time. It didn't matter where they lived. It didn't matter how big or small the case was. I was there to make sure someone paid. Why? Because I've been there. I now run D'Agostino & Associates, personal injury law firm I built right here in New York and New Jersey. For over 30 years, D'Agostino & Associates has been helping accident victims get every dollar they deserve. We've recovered millions of dollars for people just like you. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino & Associates, personal injury law firm that offers free consultation. And if you can't make it to us, we're going to come to you. I've been there. Call now, 888-24-LAW-24. 888-24-LAW-24. D'Agostino Law Fight Fast. Prices at an all time high, our donors are now getting the highest receipts ever. Donate at carsforkids.org and your car can be picked up tomorrow.
changing your oil with a full synthetic oil like Valvoline Advance can help your engine get more miles. Right now, buy a five-quart jug and get a free STP Extended Life oil filter. That's right, free. Get started on your next job today with the parts you need, when you need them, at AutoZone or AutoZone.com. Get it around, AutoZone. Restrictions apply. Angie's list is now Angie, and we've heard a lot of theories about why. I thought it was an eco move. Your word? Yes, paper. No, it was so you could say it faster. No, it's to be more iconic. Must be a tech thing. But those aren't quite right. It's because now you can compare upfront prices, book a service instantly, and even get your project handled from start to finish. Sounds easy. It is, and it makes us so much more than just a list. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. Two guys drove to work. Neither guy wore a seatbelt. One guy got a ticket. One guy didn't. The same two guys drove home. One guy wore a seatbelt. One guy didn't. One guy made it home. The guy not wearing his seatbelt didn't. Don't risk it. Click it or ticket. Paid for by NHTSA. ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. I'm Kevin Rick and that'll for us on the AutoZone halftime of Ford 15th career 30 point playoff game for Jamal Murray. The Nuggets are 10 and 4 in those games. He does 30 though in the first half. As Denver tries to go up three games to none, but a good 14 to 4 kick by the Lakers means it's only a three point deficit as we start the second half back in Los Angeles. 58 55. Anthony Davis and LeBron have combined for 30. With George Sedano on the sidelines. Back to Crypto.com Arena alongside P.J. Colissimo. Here, Sean Kelly. Kevin, yeah, thank you very much. Both teams back on the floor that second quarter. Massive for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trying to get their first win in this series. The numbers just in that second quarter box score alone, P.J., tell a big story here so far tonight. 71% shooting for the Lakers. They got 35 points. Outscored the Nuggets 35-26. Austin Reeves, we've been bragging about how he stopped referring to him as a second-year player, undrafted player. He is one of the better guards in the playoffs. He got, believe it or not, 15 points, four for four from the field. One of those was a three, six for six, free throw line, three rebounds, three assists. Excellent half, excuse me, excellent quarter yes. for Austin Reeves leading the way. LeBron James would seem to have been quiet four points, but he also got five assists. We had his hand in a lot of those points. Lakers clearly back in it. Uh, Denver has got to get Nikola Jokic involved. I didn't think I'd ever make that statement. I think they got a little bit too one-dimensional trying to get the ball to Jamal Murray, who obviously had a great quarter, but one guy's not going to beat a team, so he needs some help. They need to spread it around a little bit more. Jokic with five points in the first half. Murray, though, leads all scorers with 30 points through two quarters. Let's go down to the sideline. Once again, George Sedano. Hey, Sean. So, in the last huddle that I checked in with the Lakers at about the four-minute mark left in the second quarter, Darvin Ham was chatting with his team, particularly LeBron and AD, about how to handle Jamal Murray. And they were talking about whether to double him or not. They chose at that point to not double him, although they have been very effective when they have done it. Murray is 0 for 5 in those scenarios, Sean. All right. And we saw LeBron as the featured defender on quite a few possessions there in the second quarter. The Lakers use that paint in the second quarter, that's for sure. Ten of their 12 field goals, layups or dunks. They lead overall through two quarters in the paint, 28 to 16. Owning the paint brought to you by Sherwin-Williams. Ask Sherwin-Williams and save 35% on Emerald products and Super Deck stains now through May 22nd. Retail sales only. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Just 28-16 advantage for the Lakers, but they missed 12 of 26 shots in the paint. They've been living in the lane. Denver defense has not been very good against the dribble. Anytime the Lakers have put it on the floor, they've pretty much gotten all the way to the rim. That has to change for the Denver Nuggets. LeBron and the Lakers have it to start the, sec or the second half. Lob it into Davis here, left side of the lane. One-on-one -on -one against Gordon. Rifles one in the paint. Off the catch, Vanderbilt misses a slinger toward the rim. Got bumped. Third by Denver off the miss. 
Lob ahead. Caldwell called for three. Good on the left corner. Give an assist to Jokic on the play. It's that transition defense or lack thereof that Darvin Ham talked to us about. They can't allow transition back. Look at the Davis, and he rises to knock down a 15-footer. That's an assist for Russell, a name we didn't call a whole lot in the first half tonight. Yeah, the, the reason that, that first play, they went to Vanderbilt trying to get another foul on Nikola Jokic. That would be a big mistake if Nikola Jokic even engages with Jared Vanderbilt. Jokic playing with three fouls, slips away from Davis, catches, and bunnies up to the rim to lay it over the iron. Tiptoe. May have even gotten off the ground. I'm not sure. It looked like he tiptoed up there. There may have been a credit card underneath the sneakers. That's about all you could get. Turnover now, Los Angeles. They fumbled it going down the lane. Turnovers have been a problem for them, and D'Angelo Russell had that one. He's really having difficulty getting on track. One for four. He does have two assists. Nine turnovers for the Lakers. One for Denver. One. Gordon bounce past the Oak. It's left side of the lane. Looks over his left shoulder. Sends it out underhand to Murray. Wing left three, no good. Rebound, weak side quarter. Pass out of his hands by Reeves. It'll stay for Denver on the right baseline with 12 to shoot. Good rebound, obviously, by Michael Porter, but he's got to be better on the dribble. He's got to be able to create a little bit more than he does. He's such a great shooter, and he's so big. He just relies on getting those open looks. Inbound to Gordon, finds Porter top of the key. Left, Jokic contested three, side iron no good, and Reeves to let it bounce out of bounds. Lakers ball linked to the floor to go, early going third quarter. Well, Jokic continues to struggle. Three for ten from the field, one for three from the three-point line. 63-57, Denver on top. James picks it up, throws it over the top of the defense to Davis, wing right, right back to James, drives to the top of the yard, floater no good. And the rebound pinballs out. James went down awkwardly, and it's a power play for Denver at the end of our left. Straight away three. Good by Caldwell Pope. The lead is nine now for Denver. Hard to speculate. It looks like he hurt his left knee, but uh, LeBron James normally stays hurt for about 20 seconds. Russell turns around the screen. The other shoots it from 15. Rebound, Davis. Back up and in on second chance. That's a 10 0 advantage on second chance for Los Angeles. I'd like to say that was a pass for D'Angelo Russell, but I don't think so. Now, Porter misses a fading baseline left jumper. Another rebound for AD. He's got 13. 19 points, 13 rebounds. Davis catches top of the arc. Robinson LeBron, left of the rim. Comes under the goal and finds Russell. Corner right three, skips off the iron. Rebound Jokic. Outlet pass to Murray. Heels off the foul line. Sends it back wing right. KCP for three. Very good. Rebound off the fingers of Anthony Davis. Whoa. I had the hold still. Mark Lindsay. He's, he's, looking, for help. Yeah, he's looking for help from uh, either of his partners. They did not see it, so they can't bail him out. Jokic was there, too. Inbound to Gordon. Pass to Jokic to the top of the key. Sends it to KCP, sideline right, and he steps on the boundary at the Lakers bench. Catching and trying to put his head down to drive. Turnover, Denver. Only their second one, I believe, but still a costly one right there. Tell you what, Sean, they need offense from Jokic or Porter or somewhere else right now. Denver really struggling. ACP's giving him 11. He's the only other double-figure scorer right now other than Murray. Wide open three. Vanderbilt up and short out of the right corner. That's why he's wide open. Yes. Here's Porter in transition. Fires through three straight away, no good. Rebounded by Russell. 66-59. Denver. Russell crossover dribble goes behind the back of it. Now comes away from the paint above the right foul on extended. Speed Davis. Off the paint, spins to the block, spins again, shoots and scores past Jokic. And he had Jokic on, so he's just going to take him right to the rim, knowing that Nikola Jokic is probably not going to engage with him. 21 for AD. And off Murray, top of the arc, and he over hits the wrong Jokic. Push shot, half of the line, no good. Another rebound for Anthony Davis. Five foot shot missed by Nikola Jokic. Ahead right. to Vanderbilt, catches and dunks with two hands. Assisted by LeBron James on the break. Timeout, Denver. They're just missing easy shots. Nikola Jokic had a five footer right at the rim. He's having trouble getting on track, and Michael Porter is really struggling. He's one for six. 
once for five from the line. He took a quick one in transition. You know, when you're struggling and your team's struggling, quick swings are not the answer. Well, 6-0 run here by the Lakers. They cut it to three. We step aside. In the third quarter, eight minutes and three seconds on the clock. It's the number 966, the Los Angeles Lakers 63. You're listening to the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Presented by Indeed. Where can you walk magnificent greens with the Manhattan skyline as a backdrop while you're lining up your next shot? Only at Skyway Golf Course at Lincoln Park West in nearby Jersey City. It's the finest public golf experience in Hudson County, an amazing nine-hole layout lined with flowering grasses, magnificent dunes, rolling fairways, offering fun and challenge at every hole. Visit their pages at skywaygolfcourse.com to see all that this wonderful course has to offer. Instruction, events, tournaments, outings, juniors, Welcome, senior discount. Skyway Golf Course is sure to make your must play list of the Metro New York Golf Course. And go to their website, skywaygolfcourse.com. Reserve a tee time, skywaygolfcourse.com. Skyway features maximum variety with a capable mix of par 3, par 4, and par 5 holes. Landing areas are generous and visible, and most greens have collections and chipping areas to receive slightly offline approach shots. Skywaygolfcourse.com. That's skywaygolfcourse.com. Hey, Ricky Pietro here. We're looking to take your business to the next level. Sharp Edge is one of the best custom software solutions for over 20 years. Sharp Edge software powers companies both large and small, including the most popular football leagues in the world. Take your business to the next level with Team at Sharp Edge. Go to sharpedge.com slash Rick today for a free consultation. Sharp Edge creative solutions will enhance your company's competitive edge. When your standards are high and success matters, call Sharp Edge. Go to sharpedge.com slash Rick for a free consultation. At Metro by T-Mobile, you get 5G starting at $25 per line for your family. And you get a free Samsung Galaxy 5G. How could you not love a deal this good? Switch to Metro and get four lines of 5G for $25 a line. Plus a free Samsung Galaxy A14 5G with a 50 megapixel triple camera system. More for your money. Only at Metro. Preview and rebate with eligible for the restrictions of license for details. And the message was simple for Michael Malone. If we're going to win this game, it's going to be on defense. Defense and rebounding. That's what will win for us. 8-8 eight, eight quarter. Thank you, George. 7.57 to go in the third. KCP harassed by Russell Frankford right. Has to give it up. Does so to Jokic. She dribbles across the top of the key. Hands it off to Murray. Murray turns the corner. Hits a rolling. Jokic catches the rim and an open look. Jokic knocks it down. Jokic still yet to get the double figures. He's at nine points. Good job by Michael Malone in that timeout. Gets his big guy going with a simple pitch and roll pass. Reeves catches left wing, turns into the lane. Runner, no good. Got his own miss. Pulls it back out. Pump fake from three. Sends it to James, top of the arc. Entry pass. Tip caught though by Davis. Foul as he was shooting. And a late or patient whistle here from Scott Foster. Well, I'll tell you what, from the opposite side, is that on Jokic? It is. Before. They may challenge if they take a look at it. It's going to be a sport. Anthony Davis will go to the line. He got undercut and came down, and he's grasping his right hand. And the challenge right is on. Yeah. Michael Malone has called time, and he's challenging the call. We're watching the replay right now. Well, he can't see from that angle whether he fouls him with his body. He could get overturned. Possibly. There was no contact with his arms coming over the top. If it's anything, like you said, it's waist to waist. Yeah, and it, it might also be. I don't think so. Sometimes you go to the challenge, and it's not just that they 
they changed the foul. Instead of uh, putting it on Yoke, they put it on somebody else. Uh, I'd like to see the replay. We're getting another replay right now from us. Yep. We'll take a look during the break. There's a full timeout now here in the third. We'll stop play at 7.24 to go in the third quarter. Denver leads at 68-63 here in Los Angeles. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. A toast to our new college grad who fills us with so much joy, almost as much as when we're in our RV. Oh, the world is your oyster, kiddo, and ours too. Now that we're covered with Progressive, Dad and I can hop in our RV anytime we want. Might even splurge on a retractable awning. Oh, look out! <laughs> Sorry, what was I talking about? Protect your loved one with an RV policy from Progressive. Take as little as four minutes to see what you could save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Ask Sherwin Williams and get 35% off Emerald products and Super Deck stains May 19th through the 22nd. That means 35% off our most popular color family, blue. Psychologists have found it to be soothing and relaxing, which makes it especially great for bedrooms and bathrooms. And of course, get 35% off all of our other colors. Shop the sale online or visit your neighborhood Sherwin Williams store. Retail sales only. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. after that. Nikola Jokic not thrilled clearly at this moment. First free throw down for Davis. Second one on the way. Back iron no good. Davis with 22 points, 14 rebounds. He scored 7 points in the quarter. Well, it doesn't feel like the Nuggets are still leading this game. It feels like Los Angeles has taken control of it. They are doing a better job offensively, but they still have not been able to rest control. Brown drives under the rim, throws up, hill to Porter, launches a three, wide open, and nailed it off the left side. It's a 13-9 quarter for Denver. That's the logical guy to step up for Denver. If Michael Porter can get going from downtown, they can weather the storm with Jokic on the bench. LeBron posting up, block right, turns, shoots a three over KCP, side iron no good. And then out of bounds, but touched by Porter trying to save it. Baseline right, it will stay with L.A. Two Nuggets actually fighting for the ball. It was he and Bruce Brown, they lost it out of bounds. Either one of them could have had the rebound. 
Jokic off the floor with his fourth foul. Inbound finds Reeves, corner right. Dribbles up here with the left hand. Turns toward the color. Pumps, shoots, and scores. Boy, he's had a generous rim tonight. Austin Reeves has 17 points. That's his move. He dribbles into the lane. He comes to a jump stop, and he pump fakes. They keep going for that jump fake every time. 71-66, Denver. More paint points, by the way, Sean. Indeed. 38 in the color now for L.A. Bruce Brown contested three left wing, no good. Davis had a hand right over his forehead. Teams will bring it up for the Lakers. Lob deep. Posting up, Davis catches, block right. Here comes the double, steps through it, turns, shoots, foul in front of the rim. Back to the line, go the Lakers and Anthony Davis. Well, I split the double team, the mistake. If you're going to double team, you have to cross legs with your teammates and not allow anybody to split. It was a mismatch. Bruce Brown was trying to cover Davis, and when Michael Porter came down with the double team, he just didn't close it. That allowed... AD to split the trap. That's just a, a defensive mistake. You drill that all the time. It was not well executed that time by Michael Porter Jr. Anthony would like to have an N1 opportunity here, but he'll have to shoot the two free throws. The foul charge to Bruce Brown. That is his point. Bruce Brown will stay in the game for Michael Malone. Malone now 31-30. and 30. Postseason record as a head coach. Now over that 500 mark with the game two win, a five-point win. At Ball Arena, 108-103 in game two. Funny, only two fouls. Excuse me, Sean. The second free throw goes through. Only two fouls on the Nuggets this quarter, but they're big ones. Fourth foul on two different players, two starters. That's right. Joe Kitchen Brown. Davis has nine points in the quarter. Three-point lead for Denver. Murray, double team, dribbles out of trouble. Gets to the deep left wing. On the L logo, left side of the lane. Spins, shoots. Over the iron, no good. Rebound, James. Attack to the other end. Sends it to Reeves, who fumbled it briefly. Reeves, jump pass to the left wing. Russell's a three off the catch. One go. Popcorn rebound out to Reeves. Back to Russell. Missed another three off the wing. And a loose ball foul as Davis is trying to secure the rebound. It's on Denver. Jamal Murray can't believe he didn't get the foul, he didn't get the foul call on the other end. KCP is really upset. No call at that end, and then they got a little ticky-tack down here. Uh, Michael Porter made a mistake. I think that's why he's out. He, he released like he was going down for a fast break. His man got the offensive rebound. Porter to the bench. Christian Brown in now. And James has to leave the floor here. And that's what they were waiting for. Yeah. He, he walked over very deliberately. Reeves over the screen. He's up a three right angle and ripped it. Terrible defensive mistake. Two players just looked at each other. Neither one of them picked up Austin Reeves. Michael Malone is beside himself. He's really upset with the defensive effort by his team. Timeout, Michael Malone in Denver. This game is tied now at 71. It's our fourth tie of the game. And Austin Reeves has 20 points. He's the second leading scorer for the Lakers now behind Anthony Davis's 24. And while they've only shot 29% from downtown, the Lakers have had some timely threes, namely this one right now from Reeves. Well, the way Denver's playing right now, you combine that with the 14-5 run by the Los Angeles Lakers. They're taking control of the game almost despite themselves. Denver's just hanging out, not playing very well at all, particularly on the defensive end, and they've got some serious foul trouble. Lakers won the second quarter. Now they're winning the third. Have tied this game. The last Laker lead was 9-7, by the way. 9-7. Reeves now has seven games of 20-plus points this postseason. That is the most such games by an undrafted player in the last 35 years. He's had 23 four times, Sean. He's going past 23 tonight. Mm. So Denver breaks the timeout huddle with 5.18 to go in the third. With George Sedano and DJ Calissimo on Sean Keller. Now Rosenberg's our engineer tonight. John Madani producing on site. KCP is still barking at the officials. He went at Mark Lindsay first. Now he's talking to Bill Kennedy. They're really upset with the no call on the Murray drive, and then he followed with a loose ball foul on the other end. 
Hand off to Green, hand off to Murray, all in the same spot. Murray dribbles to the left elbow, backs it out to Gordon, steps to the right elbow, shoots off the bounce, missed it. Rebound tipped by Hachimura, grabbed by Anthony Davis. They leave it for Reeves at half court. Where's the offense coming from for the Denver Nuggets? Both teams shooting 46%. Reeves lobs into a crowd, turned it over. Stolen by Murray. Outlet to KCP, wing left three in transition, will go, tipped in by Bruce Brown. Arguing that he was fouled. He tipped it in, there was a lot of contact, but there were three players that went for the ball. Points off turnovers, that's 11 points for Denver off of now, Chan Laker turnovers, the lead is for the Nuggets. Russell turned it over, trying to send it through the lane, stolen by KCP, ahead to Murray, lob to the rim, alley-oop lay-in, by Brown. Timeout now, Los Angeles. Denver's up four. Denver in transition, that's been their best offense. They've getting good looks, and also in transition, you're not really matched up to box out, so what they do miss in transition, like they did on the previous play, Bruce Brown gets the easy tip and follows it. Lakers do all that work, P.J., to climb back in this game. Down 14 at one point. Down by three at the half. Get the tie at 71, and here... Four points in a row off turnovers. Sean, I've been there so many times. It, it, sometimes you're so frustrated. You're disappointed. You're really upset. Your team's not playing well. And sometimes you lose focus on the game. I mean, they, they got a four-point lead. Yeah, it's not very artistic, but we got to win the game. The object is to win the game. I think both coaches are very frustrated with how their teams, their respective teams, are playing. But it's about winning the game right now. And one of these teams has got to settle down and play. Denver's spending a lot of time talking to the officials right now. That's not a good thing either. Here's one other little thing I just noticed. What if I told you earlier today, when we were getting ready for this game, PJ, that here with 4.14 to go in the third, LeBron James would have nine points, and Nikola Jokic would only have nine points at this juncture? I would tell you no way, but again, that, that can happen when one player really gets it going, as Jamal Murray did in the first half. Denver's got to weather the storm this final 4-14. I don't think Michael Malone will bring Jokic back until the fourth quarter. Right now they're plus four, and Jokic on the bench. Lakers will bring it across half court in the hands of Lonnie Walker, the fourth. Pitch to James above the right high post. He's peering over his right shoulder. Sends it to Schroeder on his left. 4 one to go in the period. Back to James, repeat Schroeder. Up top for three. Iron glass, no good. Good block out and a rebound by the Nuggets. Yeah, excellent block out. Ahead to Green on the right sideline. Almost missed it in from the Laker bench. He made a good catch. It was not a good pass. Murray goes around the elbow screen. Step back jumper, top of the key, no good. Rebounded by Anthony Davis. Murray has not scored in this third quarter after scoring 30 in the first half. That's why Michael Malone's got Porter back in the game. They need offense badly. Feed Davis, block left. They'll dig down. He'll hit the diving hook, Shimura. Swing, swing to the right corner. Walker for three. Missed a wide open look. Going to Nugget within a zip code of him. Denver brings it up, leading 75-71. Murray lobs to Gordon, right side of the lane. Gordon pumps into Schroeder, works to the color, to the restricted area. Held it down low, it's knocked loose. Falls loose on the rim, and a foul called by Scott Foster under the goal. Foul is on Schroeder. George Sedano, jump in, William. Sean, KCP in that last huddle was fired up. He was yelling at his teammates, cursing at him a little bit about knowing where to be. And they did talk about throwing some delayed doubles at Anthony Davis. We saw one there just now. George, thanks. Yeah, good call, George. That's exactly what they're doing. I'll tell you what's hurting the Lakers again, Sean. We talked about it with Darvin Ham. Their three-point shooting is Michael Porter launching a three for Denver. Uh, Denver's 10 for 28. That's about 35%. The Lakers are 5 for 19, hitting 6%. Gives it Davis, and he spins his man off the right low post to lay it in. 75-73. Tried to overplay and steal the ball. You can't do that. you got to stay between A.D. and the basket. This game is really slowed down, which is actually right now to Denver's liking. Shot blocked by Davis on a running attempt by Murray. Denver keeps it. Porter wing right three. Good. Second chance three-pointer by Denver. Offensive rebound, and that's what Michael Porter's in the game to do, to make some free. He's going to give him an illegal free. Get out of the lane. 78-73, LeBron from the left angle. Muscles into the lane, knocked loose, fouled. 
Jeff Green, I think, is going to get whistled here for the foul of 2.17 left in the quarter. It is on Jeff Green. Boy, I did not see a gather on that. I would love to see the replay. They're going back to as TV likes to do. Five-point lead. Denver hanging in with Jokic on the bench. A frustrated Jamal Murray uh, is talking right now. To Mark Lindsay saying, hey, you guys are being very physical with me. I'm not getting calls, and we got a lot of whistles at this end. The all-time scoring leader is just now to double figures. First free throw is good. James has 10. But missed the second free throw, and it's 78-74. You got that free throw discrepancy, which we have every game. That's what the Lakers do very well. 22 attempts to Denver's 8. Murray over the drag up top. Slings it left side for Caldwell Pope. Off the dribble, shoots for three. Sliced it down with two minutes to go in the corner. Boy, KCP hesitated. Lonnie Walker closed on him, and he made a tougher three than the one he passed up. Good point. 81-74. 148 to go. James between the circles. Starts it inside. Hachimura turns, shoots, missed it right in front of the cup. That's a big miss. Back to Caldwell Pope where he just nailed a three. Yet to use the dribble. Sends it to Gordon. Top of the arc. Hand off the quarter. Crossover dribble. Draws James on the switch. Pass to Green on the right sideline. Dribble handoff to Murray. Murray takes it to the baseline. It's another goal. Shoots a double pumper, but missed it against Davis. Ball loose out to LeBron James. James kicks the corner right. Back it out to Schroeder. Three and ten. Jason. Good, good, good. They're going to rule that a long two, but Scott Foster twirling the finger. They'll take a look. At the moment, it's a five-point lead for the Nuggets with about a minute to go in the quarter. The Denver's making threes. That's what they've done this entire series. Free throws on the forte of the Lakers. KCP oh. is stepping up big for the Denver Nuggets. Just came off a pin down and squared to fire and hit a 15-footer off the free throw line. They're doing a heck of a job not only staying ahead, but actually stretched the lead a little bit. 83-76. Schroeder, left angle, dribbles, goes off the foul line, jump pass caught by Walker. Out top to James for three. Good for LeBron James. His first three-pointer in the series comes with 41 seconds left in the third quarter. Two big possessions right here. Denver should wind it down. Fast play. Stolen by Schroeder in the lane. Bad pass by Aaron Gordon. Schroeder shoves it to James. Right side for another three. Right in the kisser. Back-to-back threes for LeBron James. It's a one-point game. Really costly turnover by Aaron Gordon. LeBron James finally comes alive from downtown. 12 to shoot, 13 and a half to play. Denver ball at the end to our left. Foul to give for the Lakers. KCP fouled in the act of shooting at the free throw line by Lonnie Walker, the fourth. Would be... I don't remember any Denver free throws this quarter. If there have been some, it, it hasn't been many. I don't believe they have. They've got more threes than they have twos this quarter. That's what's enabled them to keep the lead and no free throws. Believe in yourself, Coach. You were right the whole time. 7.2 seconds remaining in the period. Oh, and Caldwell Pope missed the free throw. You don't get many against the Lakers. When you do get them, you got to convert them. Denver is 6-0 this postseason when they lead going to the fourth quarter. Second one is in. May have made a mistake. They went a little too soon. you got to take a shot when it's there, but they've left seven seconds for the Lakers. LeBron may just pull up and take another three. LeBron picks it up, shoots for two out of the circle, and rims off as the horn sounds. LeBron James with the last six and a quarter for the Los Angeles Lakers. They pulled it within one. A pair of free throws, though, or excuse me, one free throw made gives Denver a two-point lead going to the fourth frame. They're hanging on, but they've done a really good job weathering the foul trouble. I would think you'll see Nikola Jokic back in now, even with the four fouls, to start the fourth. Lakers win the quarter by one point. At the end of the third, it's Denver 84, Los Angeles 82. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app, presented by Indeed. Whether you own a local business or a global one, you know that these days, generating growth is a challenge. 
By teaming with Bank of America, you'll not just stay ahead of the curve, you'll move it. With access to experts, award-winning insights, and business solutions so powerful, you'll make every move matter, locally and globally. Visit bankofamerica.com slash bankingforbusiness to learn more. What would you like the power to do? Copyright 2023, Bank of America, N.A. Carrie, is this schedule the most updated? There's a wedding season rush at Dr. Iona's dental practice. You're fully booked this week. We can try and squeeze you in next Tuesday. She needs a dental hygienist to unveil fresh smiles. <gasps> How long has we been under the UV light? Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. We instantly connect you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Two guys drove to work. Neither guy wore a seatbelt. One guy got a ticket. One guy didn't. The same two guys drove home. One guy wore a seatbelt. One guy didn't. One guy made it home. The guy not wearing his seatbelt didn't. Don't risk it. Click it or ticket. Paid for by NHTSA. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Improve visibility and save $8 instantly when you pick up a pair of Bosch Icon wiper blades at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Bosch Icon premium blades can help you see better and drive safer. And our professional parts people will install them for you for free. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts today or visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. to inside a Granger studio. He had not made a three-pointer since the Obama administration. Okay, that's a lie, but I think Laker fans thought it was that long. Schroeder shoves it to James. Right side for another three. Oh, right the kisser. Back-to-back threes for LeBron James. And that's LeBron finishing the third quarter strong, but Denver still with a two-point lead. 84-82. They're 12 minutes away from a 3 nothing series lead. Lakers easily within striking distance to get back in the series. Back to George. P.J., here's Sean. Kevin, thanks. Low scoring affair through three quarters. P.J., this has been a fun game to watch because a lot of the things that we thought might happen have not here in game three between the Lakers and the Nuggets. Yeah, and other people are stepping up. The Lakers only have three players in double figures. Anthony Davis, 26. Austin Reeves, 20. LeBron James after those two threes with 16. Uh, more people are playing well for Denver. The guy who has to step it up the guy who should have been a three-time MVP, Nikola Jokic. He's back in playing with four fouls. The strike for court fourth quarter. Jokic for three, straight away. Off the rim, no good. Rebounded by LeBron James. James will bring it up the center of the floor. And he right foot around to the right corner. And Hachimura, who was wide open, just missed it. Turnovers have been a problem, continue to be a problem. That's the 12th one for the Lakers. Denver only has three. So far, those 12 turnovers have resulted in 13 Nugget points. They can add to that here. And almost a turnover. Jokic saves it, goes to the lane, runs it up over Hachimura, but missed it coming down the pipe. Hachimura pauses top of the arc. That little runner, he never misses. He's missed it twice tonight. Point blank range to pull the Jokic. There's James. Right angle. Guarded with space here by Jokic. Eight to shoot. James goes out of a down double team. Over to Hachimura. Left wing three is good. He had to look over the top of Jeff Green to get it to go. First lead since 9-7. to seven. Ball turned over to half court. Hachimura. Euros in the lane. Rises. Missed it point blank. And a loose ball foul on the play by Hachimura. He fouled Jokic after the miss. Well, I'll tell you what. No Nugget went after the loose ball. Rui Hachimura went in between two Nuggets, came up with the loose ball, but couldn't finish. Bruce Brown made him change the angle on his shot. It's the only thing that I can think of as to why Hachimura missed it that close. Lakers up by one as Jokic catches it right of the lane. Out to Porter, wing right three. Iron twice, no good. James clears it. Ron brings it up. Tees up a three straight away. In and out. No good. Rebounded by Michael Porter. 
Quarter of the broken floor. Drives it straight up in the lane. Lott leaves it for Jokic, and he pops it in for two points. Lakers, Jokic into double figures. Lakers have closed that three-point gap. It's now only 12-8. to eight. That's still plus 12 points with the four to four three-point shot difference, but it's getting respectable. Hachimura pump fake, top of the key, steps to the elbow, shoots, and scores a 15-footer. Rui Hachimura now leads all bench scores with nine points. He's getting big minutes now because Darvin Ham recognizes just how well he's played in this series. Jokic spins off Hachimura, block right, and a reverse lane is good, and one. Rui Hachimura has done a good job when he's guarded Nikola Jokic, but Nikola Jokic is just bigger and stronger, and now he's starting to try to bully him and get to the rim instead of just shoot over him. In games one and two, each side had a double-digit lead that was overcome by the other. Here in game three, Denver had a 14-point lead in the first half. The Lakers have overcome that, but now have fallen back behind by two. And here we are, that fourth quarter storyline coming back. LeBron drives right down the lane. Pass Jokic, layup no good. They want to get that fifth foul on Jokic. Jokic so far is being careful. That's usually not his forte. He likes to reach in. Back to Jokic. Throws out. The KCP swinging around the horn to the left wing. Brown drives to the edge of the lane, flicks it up and in. A nine-footer goes down for Bruce Brown. Very good offense that time. Denver was patient. They moved it around until they had a mismatch that they liked. Denver's got 24 assists now in the game. Nine minutes to play. James jump past the hot in the left corner. Back it out to Lonnie Walker. Drives to the angle. Stripped as he's going to the rack and foul. Foul here on Los Angeles. Kentavious Colwell Pope, I beg your pardon, for Denver. will put L.A.'s Lonnie Walker on the line to our right for free throw attempts 23 and 24 now for the home team. It's just been they shoot more free throws. They normally turn the ball over left. That has not been the case today. Denver makes more threes in all three games. They're doing that again, but that gap is closed with those two that LeBron made at the end of the third quarter. Anthony Davis waiting to sub in for the shooter. And he won't get to come in because Walker missed the second free throw. So Davis remains at the scorer's table. Good news if you're a Denver fan. 91-88 Nuggets. Jokic catches top of the key, rumbles down the lane, slings it out to Green, swing it up top. KCP for three. Off the mark. No good. Rebounded by Austin Reed. That was a tough shot. They need a better shot than that. I'll let the James to the right. Plays it up and in. Count it and a foul on Jeff Green. Feel like a racket ball came bouncing off of James as he finished the play. Michael Malone is asking what he did. Je uh, Jeff Green was standing still. He didn't foul. It should have been a no call. LeBron stepped around him. There shouldn't have been a call either way. It definitely was not an offensive foul on LeBron and was not a foul on Jeff Green either. James with the line to our right. AD back in. Jamal Murray back in. Murray had 30 points in the first half. He has not scored since the intermission. 91-90. James misses the free throw. Not taking advantage of their free throws. That's 72%, which is not that good for the Lakers. 18 to 25. Jokic down the right slot, rumbles into Hachimura, and up strong is able to finish. And so James and Jokic now have put the game on their backs for each side. The two All-NBA players are engaged. Let's see what happens now with Jamal Murray and A.D. in the game. Lob to the rim and a tip-in by Anthony Davis. He just got over the defender and with a fingernail puts it in off the send-in from LeBron. Backdoor cut. Stolen. Lakers got it. Reeves on the break with Hachimura. Hachimura in the rim. Shot blocked by Green. Wow. Oh, foul Boy. says Bill Kennedy. No challenge left. That was a block. Great block by Jeff Green. They're calling on Jamal Murray. Yep. The block is great. Where's Murray? He went through first. Okay. The replay they're showing is you don't see him. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't know about that call. I like Billy Kennedy as an official, but that was a great block by Jeff Green, and I did not see Jamal Murray, who was involved first. Free throw good. Game tied now at 93. 
It's our fifth tie now tonight. Lakers trying to win their first in this series. They have not lost at home this postseason. LeBron James goes to the Laker bench at 748. Donovan trying to make sure that he's got some gas in that LeBron James tank for the last few minutes. Three throws down for Rui Hachimura. Well, Rui Hachimura has really played well for the Lakers. 11 off the bench. Oh, we got a push in the backcourt. I'm not sure it's Scott. Schroeder. I think Scott Foster wanted to take that whistle back after he blew the whistle. It really was not. Oh, he reached in. Yeah, it's a good call. Third team foul on the Lakers. Nuggets have three team fouls. 7.40 to play. Murray gets it across against Schroeder. He's between the circles. It's around the high middle screen by Jokic. Jokic pops, catches, works the dribble below the free throw line. To the broken line. Turns, throws wing left to Brown. Feed the corner. Green for three. Yes! Wow. Jeff Green knocks down a corner three. The veteran with a big one. This defense has been good against Jokic with Hachimura playing Jokic and AD being the helper. Walker's three won't go. Rebounded by Murray. Nuggets up by two. Ten lead changes down the game. Swing it sidearm over to Porter. Touch pass to the sideline. Brown for three. Bruce Brown knocks it down, turns and barks to the Lakers bench. Timeout, Los Angeles. Really good play by Michael Porter Jr. Last year, he'd have burped up the shot himself. He made one more pass to a player who was more open, and it yielded the three points. First three-pointer for Bruce Brown tonight. He now leads all bench scorers with 13 points. The Nuggets are up five. Step aside here in Los Angeles. In the fourth quarter, seven minutes to go, 99-94. Denver on top of the Lakers. You're listening to the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. Do you want to gain stability, benefits, and experience? As a youth development specialist with the City of New York, you can build a solid civil service career working with NYC's youth. Start earning over $47,000, and in three months, you could get a $2,500 bonus. Earn a pension, paid overtime, health care, and in just five years, over $60,000. Apply now at nyc.gov slash YDS. Make a difference in the lives of our youth. Become a youth development specialist today. Learn more at nyc.gov slash YDS. 40 days up to 40 pounds. Say it with me, 40 days up to 40 pounds. With the warmer days of spring approaching, you need to get rid of that oversized sweatshirt and reach out to NJ Diet. You will lose a contractually guaranteed 20 to 40 plus pounds in only 40 days. They use your hair, saliva, and blood work along with bioenergetic scans to personalize natural solutions and supplements that get your body into the fat burning zone so you can finally lose that weight. Then, NJ Diet uses DNA Info to help you keep it off. You will be slimmer before this summer with the help of NJ Diet. And best of all, it's contractually guaranteed. You are fully supervised the entire time to make sure you're burning fat and not just losing water. And you even get the doctor's personal email and phone number. Locations throughout New York, New Jersey, Connecticut or available worldwide with live online video consults. Call 855-5NJ-DIET or schedule your consultation today by going to NJDiet.com. That's NJDiet.com. 40 days up to 40 pounds. 40 days up to 40 pounds. This is 98.7 ESPN, Dawn from Long Island. Oh, it's been a rough start for the Metropolitan. You see them turning it around soon? There's been some injuries, and they can certainly climb the ranks as the season goes on. You know what team at the top I really like right now, though? It's the guys and gals at the All-American Ford Auto Group. Talk about a triple crown team with the largest selection, best prices, and award-winning experience. They got locations throughout New Jersey. Hands down, the coolest custom and specialty inventory I've ever seen. Custom F-150s, Explorers, Broncos, Mustangs, and more. You gotta see it for yourself. Shop online at allamericanford.net. Kevin Woods with you inside our Granger Studios. Lakers just tweeting out that LeBron James has passed the legendary Hall of Famer Bill Russell for the fifth most playoff double-doubles all time. Meanwhile, we continue to go back and forth. Lakers grab the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the Denver Nuggets, they're the number one seed. They're the best team in the West for a reason. A couple of counter punches from some unexpected throw of foes. 99-94, Denver with the lead over L.A. Sean, P.J., George, back to you in Los Angeles. All right, Kevin, thank you very much. Good information there. 
By the way, Kentavious Caldwell Pope has really stepped up tonight. He has four three-pointers. When he hits two or more threes this postseason, the Nuggets are 7-0. and When he does it, they're 3-3. and So that's the thing that goes well for Denver here. They haven't lost this postseason when they've led at the start of the fourth. That also in their favor. But you feel like some of those trends could go by the wayside here. Even though Denver leads by five, it's precarious here in the fourth with just under seven minutes to play. And Jamal Murray's missed his last eight shots. All five in the second half, his last three of the first half. So he's stuck at 30. Here's James at the foul line, backing his way into the paint. Turns, shoots off the left foot. No, it's an off for the rim. Davis couldn't finish leaping from the left baseline. The ball fumbled out of bounds off Davis's knee. A little bit of traffic in there. AD had it but couldn't finish. And then the scramble for the loose ball went off A.D. James with a double-double, 18 points, 11 dimes. Davis with a double-double, 28 points, 16 boards. Murray on the ball, though, front court right. Sends it to Jokic, just off the right side of the lane. Here comes the double, throws out of that, up top to Bruce Brown. Pass to the right, Murray, open three with Shooter falling down, and there goes the drought. Murray ends his drought. He's got 33. He might have got screened down. I didn't see how it happened, but uh, Dennis Schroeder's upset, as is Darvin Ham. He was on the floor. Schroeder, drive and kick to James. Up top for three. Need it? Won't get it. Off the iron and grabbed by Michael Porter Jr. Three different Denver Nuggets have made threes. Three consecutive threes for the Nuggets. Murray takes it from Jokic, and he's bumped by Schroeder. Blocking foul on Schroeder, angle right, right at the three-point line. And sure enough, it is a 102-94 situation now for the Nuggets. We had a, a green, a brown three, we had two color threes, and then we had a Murray three. A Murray. Let me store some order. We broke the, name, the color names. The right front court. Denver ball off of LA's fourth team foul. Jokic fakes the dribble handoff. Bounces to Murray, elbow right, guarded tightly by Schroeder. Turns into the paint, hangs in the air, somehow got a lob to the rim, and it's finished. The short shot or pass tipped in by Bruce Brown. I'm going to give Jamal Murray a short shot. Doesn't matter. They got the two points. That's the more important thing. They have a 10 point lead. And it comes on an 11 0 run. Into the left corner, Reeves catches, drives baseline, and then fouled as he stepped to the edge of the lane. And it's been fouled by Bruce Brown, who was coming to help Jokic. Both teams now with four, but I'll tell you what, four, four team fouls, that's significant because Denver's accustomed to being the one in the bonus, and Lakers nowhere near it. They're both at four. It's P.J. Carlissimo, the other microphone. George Sedano, courtside, I'm Sean Kelly. James off the inbound, dribbles to the top of the key. Guns at the Schroeder. Corner right three. In and out. No oh, good. But that did everything but go in for Dennis Schroeder. Well, they need execution now if you're the Denver Nuggets. they got to make sure they get a good shot. Their postseason run is on the brink right now. Darted inside and on the seal. It's Jokic with a catch. Turn around and score. Can't get a better shot than that. And here's Jokic with 18 points. James top of the arc. And he points it in a hurry. 4.36 to go. James rolls it block right for Hachimura. Pumps, shoots, and nails a fader over Nikola Jokic. Boy, I'll tell you what, that was not an easy shot. Rui Hachimura has really been big for Darvin Ham tonight. 13 points for Hachimura, snapping a 13-0 run by the Nuggets. Murray front court right, retreats with a right-hand dribble. Changes the left hand as he walks it towards the Lakers logo. Drives past the screen by Jokic, gets baseline, gets under the goal. Sends it up top to Bruce Brown. Fires for three. No good. Could Rebounded made, by Hachimura. Could have made one more pass to Jokic. 106-96. James spins down the lane. Walked with it. Bravo. No ball. Wow. Missed the shot and draws a foul. Bruce Brown, I tell you, he's shooting the ball well. Don't mind him, he was open, but Nikola Jokic was all by himself on the opposite side. I think the appropriate, more appropriate play would have been one more pass to the big man. Mm -hmm. At the other end off the miss, right? Yeah. Yep. So the foul on Jeff Green is his third. LeBron James gets away with the travel and finds himself at the line to our right. And that is the 15th foul, by the way. It doesn't affect this pair of free throws that LeBron... Has earned, but they're in the bonus the rest of the way. Final 358. Denver will also be in the bonus the next foul committed by the Los Angeles Lakers. 106 97. 
James at the line to shoot two. Second free throw is good. It's four of seven at the line. Monster game from Anthony Davis. And yet the Lakers are down here by eight. Jokic drives the right sideline. Turns goes off the baseline to Murray. Up top for three. No good. Loose ball foul no, on the floor against call. L.A. James grabbed the rebound, but the foul is called here on the Lakers. The loose ball foul takes Denver into the bonus. It's number five on Schroeder, and Jokic will shoot the bonus at the line. Good call. Todd doesn't like it. He's grabbing Nikola Jokic. He's pulling Jokic out of the lane. Challenge wow. coming from Darvin Ham. Let's take another look at the replay. Do you think Jokic is pushing him with his arm or Dennis Schroeder is pulling him on his arm? I want that look that the camera is positioned above the backboard. That's, that's the one I want to see. Challenge light is on. And we take a timeout here in Los Angeles. 3.48 to go. We'll get to the result when we come back. Down the stretch we go. Denver 106, Los Angeles 98. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app presented by Indeed. At the United States Postal Service, we're reinventing our network to help keep your business moving. With new shipping options to deliver better value, greater flexibility to conveniently reach your customers, more confident shipping with new informed delivery features, and new electric vehicles for a cleaner, brighter future. Fast, reliable, perfectly orchestrated. The United States Postal Service. Delivering for America. Learn more at USPS.com slash moving forward. Finally, baseball is back. Swing into the season with tickets to the action. Plus, with basketball and hockey heating up, now is a great time to experience a game. Vivid Seats is proud to be the official ticketing partner of ESPN. From on the glass to in the stands, Vivid Seats has great ticket prices to all the games. Every crack of the bat, every dribble down the court. Catch it all with Vivid Seats. Download the app or visit vividseats.com today. Vivid Seats. Experience it live. Anywhere fans go to cheer on their team, they're a behind-the-scenes MVP, ensuring everything is game day ready. We see you, Joe, fixing seats so every fan can enjoy every game. And Allie, who keeps her stadium running smoothly from the moment the first game starts to the last play of the season. At Granger, you're our MVP, and we're always here for you. With supplies and solutions for every industry and 24-7 customer support. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Will they find a home? Sponsored by Geico. Sarah wants a yard. My own little paradise. Brash, however, hates yard work. The only thing I hate more than cutting the grass is paying someone to cut the grass. Compromise is tough, but these two won't have to compromise when they bundle home and car insurance with Geico. It's easy, and they could save even more. In the end, Sarah and Brad found a great home with a yard. A very, very small yard. Time to get it done. And I'm done. Bundling without compromise at Geico.com. You went to a Tyler Granger studio. I want to thank all of you who logged on to our Twitter account at NBA on ESPN Radio to vote in the AutoZone in the zone. Poll question 53% of you said Jamal Murray would be the player to get in the zone tonight. Had a great first half. Finally got going here in the second. 106 98. Denver with the lead. Sean Kelly, PJ Calissimo, George Fernando are back in Los Angeles. The challenge is unsuccessful. Guys, how do you, if you're a coach, actually let your player tell you the challenge when he's grabbing the jersey of the other guy? Just curious, Sean. You got to know your players, K-Dub. It's a great question. Some guys you believe, some guys you look at them and shake your head and go, yeah, 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 but no. A couple of things come out of this. Now, both teams have lost their challenge, which means both teams have lost a timeout. L.A. has come to the crucial time with 3.48 to play. The foul call stands, and so therefore now both teams are the bonus to final 3.48 as well. Which has not been the case throughout most of this series. Jokic to the line to our left. He's averaging a triple-double in this series. Yet tonight, 19 points, 4 boards, 6 dives. He's not going to get the triple-double, but more importantly, they have a 9-point lead. He's got a free throw. Both teams, by the way, as Sean just mentioned in the bonus, and both teams with two timeouts left. And we'll reset at the two-minute mark. Jokic's second free throw goes through. It's a 10-point lead now for Denver. 
108-98. This will go one-point game at the start of the fourth quarter. Ron James, wing right, dribbling toward the baseline. He's up with three, and he drills it. That ends a streak of 19 consecutive three-point misses in the fourth quarter. Unbelievable. That's a big, big shot that you would expect from the king, but that's an enormous make right there. 23. Jokic for three, answers right back off the right side of the floor. I'll just say ditto. <laughs> My goodness. Second three of the game for Nikola Jokic. James has to give it up to Hachimor on his left. Works the dribble to the broken line. Steps off his right foot. Shoots, misses a fade, a fade off the front of the rim. A rebound for Jokic. And now with 2.55 to play, if you say. Never wants to walk the line. They don't want to get too conservative, but they certainly want a good shot every possession. Murray spins at the rim and scores. He caught it really deep in the paint and finishes. He has five and a half. Lakers are on some very, very thin ice right now. 113-101. Schroeder rises, pops it in from the broken line. Too easy. Dennis Schroeder got around his man and just had about a six-foot runner right in front of the rim. Denver has no sense of urgency right now. They are very deliberate. They've really spaced the floor. Jokic, guarded by Davis all the way out in the right front court, and Anthony Davis fouls Jokic way out near half court. That's a bad foul. Yeah, it is, because it puts Jokic right back to the line. There was still a good amount of time left on the uh, clock. Tonight's attendance, 18,977. As always, our attendance tracker brought to you by Vivid Seats, where you earn rewards with every purchase. Vivid Seats Rewards is your ticket to more tickets. Vivid Seats, life happens live. And some of this sold-out crowd is now heading for the exits at Crypto.com Arena. That's a big miss. Nikola Jokic misses the first free throw. Second one's on the way. Got that one. But it's 114-103, and the Lakers are on the brink of going down. 3-0 in this series. Hachimura tees up a three straight away. Too strong. Rebounded by Jeff Green. Points off. Turnovers have doomed L.A. tonight. Get it across. And this threes. L.A. 9 of 28 from downtown. Brown circles the screener Green. They'll give it to Jokic. For walk that dribble to the right right court. The foul line extended. Throws to Murray. Deep right wing. Back to Jokic. Sends a corner left. Brown for three. Off the rim. No good. Rebound. Jokic put it up. Ooh, missed it right in front of the rim, but he draws the foul. And back to the free throw line are the Nuggets. I don't want to exaggerate, partner, but I'm going to call the body language on the Lakers right now horrendous. They do not look like they feel. Obviously a huge task to come back from down 11 and Jokic on the line, but they're just a lot of guys, hands on their hips, or on their knees, head is slumped, heads are slumped. Uh, not a good look right now for the Los Angeles Lakers. We had ten lead changes, five ties. Jokic misses another one at the line. This has not been Nikola Jokic's game by any stretch, but to his credit, much, much better in the fourth quarter than he was in the first three. Missed them both. Rebound Davis. 94 seconds remaining, but it's 114-103 Denver. LeBron to the right elbow. Retreats with the dribble outside the three-point line. Fires straight away. It's short. Rebounded by Brown. 120 to go. Murray gets it across half court. Reeves on him defensively. There is contact. No whistle. It's handed to Jokic. You're going to take a chance. you got to find the call. He's just missed three out of four. Jokic. Takes the ball, drives the lane, sends a wing left. Porter for three. Body bags. Body bags may be needed. The dagger by Porter, 117-103. What a nice pass by Nikola Jokic. He spins and with his left hand. Wow. Deep shot by Austin Reeves. Three, but beautiful pass. That last possession by Jokic. Oh, boy. Got a whistle here on the inbound after the made three by Reeves, which probably doesn't mean a thing for Los Angeles. It's 117-106. The foul stops play at 57.9 seconds remaining. And a long walk to the free throw line at our left. One guy you do not want on the free throw line if you're the Los Angeles Lakers, it's Jamal Murray. 
The Lakers are going to use one of their two remaining timeouts before the free throw attempts. Mercy. Wow. Remind me again how many teams have come back from 0-3? Zero. I know the answer to that one. Been on both ends of it. It's just, you know, even coming in tonight, Sean, and again, this was a very, I'm going to call them resilient tonight. They were persistent because there were a number of times it looked like Los Angeles had taken control of the game, and Denver just kind of kept their head down and kept grinding, and in the first half, it was Murray. It was more by committee in the second half. Jokic, despite getting those four fouls in the third quarter, came up big for them in the fourth quarter. A lot of players contributed. Very, very gutty win it will be for the Denver Nuggets if they can hang on for 58 more seconds. Denver shooting 50% for the game. They did that 46 times during the regular season and were 36 and 10 when doing so. This was a two-point game at the start of the fourth quarter. 84-82, now 117-106, and the Lakers are going to lose at home for the first time this postseason. One of the reasons why they won so much here at home, they were holding teams at 99.3 points per game here at Crypto.com. They weren't even playing close games here. They won by 18. Uh, Darvin Ham obviously not taking a chance with his front-line guys getting injured right now. He has cleared the bench. Actually waiting for Michael Malone to do the same thing. Nothing good can happen in this final 58 seconds. Murray's first free throw is good. Murray is going to have game-high honors tonight. 30 points in the first half. Misses eight consecutive shots, but is big for them down the stretch. And it was needed, Sean. Yep. This is Murray's first trip to the free throw line. He had 29 field goal attempts, and this is his first trip to the line. He knocks down both free throws. <laughs> He's been making that point all night <laughs> to the official. Uh, to know there. 119, 106. Lakers now with 45 seconds left. He was three off the left wing. That's no good. Rebound, Lakers. Back to the right side. Brown Jr. misses off the right wing. Another rebound for L.A. Denver's just trying to make sure they don't get in a position to get hurt. Jokic's business decision steps away here. Murray Troy Brown Jr. lays it up and in. Very good decision. They may even take a 24 right now. Murray gets it across half court. 15 to shoot, 21 seconds remaining in regulation. Game four on Monday night here on ESPN Radio. 8.30 Eastern is the tip time scheduled. And Denver... We'll be going for a sweep. Shot clock violation. Denver turns it over. Are you ready? For the sixth time tonight. Remarkable number for Nuggets for the Nuggets yeah, and Michael the, Malone. One stat that they completely turned around. They have turned it over much more than the Lakers in the first two. Not tonight. What a gutty, impressive win by the Denver Nuggets. 119 to 108. It's a final now at Crypto.com Arena. The Lakers led 94-93 with 7.48 to play. The Nuggets closed P.J. Carlissimo on a 26-14 run and now lead three games to none. Their execution was better. Let's go down to George Sedano standing by with one of our stars of the game. George. Thanks, Sean. We're here with KCP. KCP, how did you guys pull this thing off here to take a 3-0 lead? Uh, just being aggressive the whole game, uh, being patient on offense, uh, getting a great shot every time down, and then getting spots when we need it. You're so vocal in those huddles yourself in this particular group. What is it like to be connected like you guys are right now? Uh, I mean, it, that means a lot, you know, just being connected uh, offensively and defensively, but it makes the game so much easier when we're out there playing with each other, no matter who's out there in the lineup. Uh, we just play hard, play smart, and play together. You certainly have familiarity with some of the guys on that other side. How does that affect what you guys do? Uh, not at all, man. We, we come out here as a team, and we, we just play. You know, we play Denver Nugget basketball. You know, we play our defense, you know, and our offense is, is great. You know, but we, we just continue to just... Just be patient and play our game. Two more quick ones for you. Nikola Jokic obviously was in foul trouble. What was the message to navigate through that? Um, we told him just not to, don't try to foul. You know what I'm saying? If they had a layup, let them have it. Uh, and then if we was around, you know, somebody else take the call. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
But, you know, he, he played great defense in that second half. Didn't have too many. Uh, I mean, he had one foul uh, in the second half. Uh, and he came he came up Jamal. They closed the game out for us. And last one, you have a 3-0 lead. No one has ever lost a 3-0 lead. How do you close this out? Uh, by doing what we've been doing. Playing aggressive. You know, get out of uh, rebound and get out in transition where we best at. Uh, and just keep playing Denver Nuggets basketball. KTV, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, back to you. George, thanks. 17 points for Contavious Caldwell Pope. He had four three-pointers in the game. Also three rebounds in the contest. And he, again, finishes with 17. Jamal Murray with 37 game-high honors. Nikola Jokic, 24 points in all tonight. No triple-double, eight times, six rebounds. But DJ Jokic's performance in the fourth quarter may be the difference here in this ball game. How about that? At the really lackluster first three quarters for the big guy. He goes five for seven in the fourth quarter, one for two from three, made four free throws, uh, a couple of rebounds, a couple of assists, uh, 15 points when it mattered most. And again, more, it sounds simplistic, more Denver Nuggets played well than Los Angeles Lakers. It's the second time in three games where only four Lakers were in double figures. Let me throw this at you. The Denver Nuggets are on the brink for playing for an NBA championship now for the first time. This is also the first time they've ever led 3-0 in a playoff series. That's amazing. When you think about what Denver has done to a Lakers team that was bulldozing its way through rounds one and two, it's the Denver Nuggets who have now stolen home or uh, stolen this game tonight in that the home team has finally lost in this series. Exactly, and again, they do it from the three-point line, Sean. 17 for 41, 42%, but 17 threes to only 10 for the Lakers. That's 21 points you got to make up. I don't care if there's a, a foul discrepancy or you turn the ball over, which they did not do today. When you make 42% of your threes and only turn the ball over six times, you got a great opportunity to win, even on the road. The Nuggets have never swept the team in a playoff series. Are they going to do it here in the Western Conference Finals? Don't know. It's going to depend I, more so not how the Nuggets are going to play, how the Lakers are going to come and respond. I would expect a very strong spirited response from a very prideful Los Angeles Laker team. I'll be listening on Monday night, Game 4. You, Mark Kessinger, George Sedano. Thank you, partner. Great being with you again, Sean. Great to see you. And, of course, the final again here tonight in Los Angeles goes to the Denver Nuggets, the number one seed on the brink of playing in the finals. The final score tonight at Crypto.com Arena, Denver 119, Los Angeles 108. For P.J. Carlissimo, George Sedano, producer John Madani, and engineer Al Rosenberg, I'm Sean Kelly. From L.A., let's send it to Kevin Winter in the studio with the postgame show. Sean, P.J., George, great job. What a fourth quarter. And, I mean, it, I, I, I honestly believe the only thing you have left to ask about this Denver Nuggets team, any questions? They were the best team in the Western Conference all year long for a reason. They now, for the first time in their history, have a 3-0 series lead. For the first time in LeBron James' career, he trails the series three games to none before the NBA Finals. 119-108 is your final. The NBA on ESPN Radio has been presented by Indeed. You need to hire. You need Indeed.com slash credit. Up next in the NBA Internet Post Game Show. Highlights, analysis, breakdown of how the Denver Nuggets pick up the 119-108 victory and move one win from their first ever NBA Finals. That's next. This is the Western Conference Finals on ESPN Radio, the ESPN app.